Yo, you should have seen in Soldati. You should have heard this crowd chanting for cheeseburger. He brought out like 10 of those stupid cheeseburger hats and they sold in like two seconds. Like, damn, I wish you should have brought more. Wow. The kids love them some cheeseburgers. Well, he's certainly very charismatic. Cheeseburger is extremely charismatic. I would be, I would probably, you could sell me a cheeseburger and I don't even eat meat. Okay, Bert, we got Wayward, takes the arm, Burger reverses it, Burger's chain wrestling is excellent. He has his own school over in Philadelphia, and the guy is actually really, really, really uh, technically sound, so to speak. I actually asked him the other day why they called him Cheeseburger, because it was such a random name. It's not like he came out in a McDonald's cheeseburger. Do you know why they called him Cheeseburger? Why? He, he started many moons ago at the Ring of Honor Wrestling Center. He was even smaller than he is now. He's like super, super strong. And he was doing ring crew and all this stuff. And when he was on shows early on, he was super green. I believe it was Charlie Haas on the promo, in, uh, in the ring, on the microphone, where he told him, he's like, dude, why don't you go eat a cheeseburger? Like trying to poke fun at his size. And the crowd erupted in a cheeseburger chain. Wow. What a story. So I was like, oh, that's actually pretty clever. How many of the people here in Palmer, Alaska, do you think know this story? Well, you know what I think? I think you should get Charlie Haas on the show. If you pay for him, I will book him, Kat. Deal or no deal? I can't afford it with my pay. Burger. Oh! That was a good counter right there. I can't see too much because the cameraman sort of blocking my view, and he is very small. Cheeseburger, not a fan of uh, a little, there's a lot of, yeah, I don't know if you follow the Instagram uh, live wars, but Cheeseburger, and you know Nasty Leroy, do you know who that is? Yes. Okay, he's going he's gonna to be very happy, you know, he's, him and Nasty Leroy, who was actually on this show in I September. Nasty oh, Leroy. you were here for him? Yes. Yeah, okay. He was Did he slide in your uh, DMs? No, he okay, was surprising. He was Check your spam folder. It's there. Hey, it Anyways, <laughs> Nasty Leroy and Cheeseburger actually have a lot of uh, late night Instagram beef, so to speak. So oh. they have a score to settle. A lot of fans have been asking me to do the Nasty Leroy Cheeseburger match here in Alaska. Wow. But come on, that's just ridiculous. Anyways, Bobby Wayward with a waist lock takes down Burger. Some very innovative counters here from both men. Whoa, Bobby. Bobby Malone getting a little, a little overly smug here that I think will not serve him well in the long run. Well, that, that's exactly how Bobby is. Bobby literally is our longest reigning stew. With Bowens going off to AEW, Bobby actually started before Anthony Bowens. He started training with us in New Jersey on the Pat Buck in 2012. Wayman has been with us going on nine years. So I guess it's so weird to, because I know him as one of our students, but Wayward at nine years in is pretty much a young veteran at this stage. Well, he certainly looks to have a very solid repertoire. Sidesteps him, Bobby in the corner hard. Berger shoots him in, reversal, weave through by Berger. Burger has the craziest, weirdest, most innovative offense. Look at this. I saw him do this in Soldana. It's frustrating. You can't figure out how to get out of this. Well, that's one way. Bobby exhibiting that strength. It's Whoa. like they were dancing. Just crawls through his legs Look at there. This. See? Oh, I sort of did that maneuver. <laughs> Burger having a grand old time with Wayward. He's taunting him. He's just playing Bobby. a little game. Uh oh. One, two. Almost Look caught at him. This groundwork by freaking Cheeseburger. What a wow. Look at this. I don't even know what the hell have these moves on. Look, who got reversal. Oh my god. Twisting, Ouch. twisting that arm. Wayward's growing frustrated, but you got to factor in too. Bobby has a, and I said this before. Bobby has a very, very Whoa. like uh, stepping up to his back. He has, a, 
Whoa, what is he doing here? Let's say, Wayward is a former like, amateur wrestler, collegiate style wrestler. And on the ground, Bobby can hold his own. But it seems this bizarre, strange, innovative offense by Berger is causing issues to Wayward. This is some Cirque du Soleil maneuver. Bobby Wayward only can get out of it by running into the ropes there. Well, whatever works, and he yanks him in! That was a very clever move, actually, on his behalf. Oh! Sweeps that leg! Pulls him to the outside. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, right to the back! Oh, that's not pleasant, getting dropped onto your ring apron like that. No, I can tell it's you. not. That's not pleasant. Celebrating a little bit. Well deserved, I think, but the crowd believes Absolutely. otherwise. It's Bobby damn wayward. This what he does. But Bobby, I, one may think he's celebrating, but look at him clinch at that arm right now. Bobby a little torn and showboard and stuff like that, but knowing Bobby, this is him. There's something wrong. He might be a little hurt. He might be biding his time, trying to recover. It's almost like when you're in an MMA fight. And, and you're, you're injured, you're hurt, and you take the guy down, and you just hold him, and you're not doing nothing. You're, you're literally just trying to recover. And that, that time, Bobby knew Berger wasn't going to get counted out, but Bobby also knew that eight, nine extra seconds uh, he could have used to recover. And right now, it doesn't look like he's clinching at that right arm anymore. Well, he's shaking off the left arm. It seems like it's his wrist or his elbow. Put cheeseburger just like in, in a little heap in the corner there. And nothing fancy about that. Stepping on someone's throat. There's no, no matter how much you weigh. Obviously, actually, it does. I mean, if you know, Paul White was stepping on your throat, he'd crush it. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather have Burger step on my throat than like you know, Paul White. I agree but with that. Anyways, nevertheless, Bobby Wood stepping on your throat. It doesn't feel good. It's a boot to your damn throat, and that's a chop lock to the knee. Just when it thought like, just when it looked like Cheeseburger might get uh, wedged back into the game, but unfortunately, fell back down. Cheeseburger, by the, the fans act, behind him, it's ironic, because as Burger is in the ring, joining the live is Nasty Leroy, that the man I was just speaking about, you see, he wants to study Burger. Doesn't like Burger. Calls him a rat bastard a lot. But I also want to point out, he's actually the only person in this live that did not donate to Russell Pro Alaska, believe it or not. Nasty Leroy? Correct. He did not donate anything, but he's watching the stream for free. It's okay, though. Back to the action. <laughs> Bobby Wayward, Cheeseburger. Fisherman suplex, beautifully done. And he gets out of it. What a spectacular bout this has turned out to be. Bobby Wayward, the crowd here is letting him hear it. You know what's crazy? That's Ever true. since Bobby Wayward has come to us, nine years, nine in nine years, Bobby has never been a fan favorite. You want to know, once upon a time in New Jersey, until we stopped them from doing it, they would bring dozens and dozens of rolls of toilet paper and pelt it at him when he came to the ring. The whole ring was littered with toilet paper. I used to collect it afterwards and bring it home. I was good on toilet paper for a long time after Bobby Russell. Succession of knife edge chops from Cheeseburger. He seems to once again have regained the upper hand. Bobby not looking too good right now. No, Burger shoots him in. A little, uh, oh, yanks that arm down that shoulder and elbow. That could dislocate. Oh, jeez. Double stumps that shoulder. Jamming that wrist into the mat and going right back to it. A little Burger info. Cheeseburger actually took part in that New Japan Ring of Honor card in Madison Square Garden. 
Garner actually wrestled in the Garden as well as three Tokyo Dome shows. And Bobby Wayward is in a submission maneuver right now. He looks like he's going for the an arm bar. shouting, tap, tap, tap. They but Wayward, Wayward also, Wayward also, and he's, and he's bidding. Oh, does he have the arm extended? He does! He does! Charles Clark, who has posted 50 times on social media, literally he posts like he's screaming. You see him? He's he keeps posing. Bobby Wayward's gonna tap out. He wants Bobby to tap out. He's obsessed with Wayward tapping out. Look, he's all pissed off now. But Wayward, like I was saying before, he has MMA training and he has a ton of uh, collegiate style wrestling experience. Bobby knows to clamp those fists together when he was going for that um, armbar submission. And he's got out of it. Like, Bobby is very, as much of an ass as he is, he's very technically sound. He's very smart. Again, Burger, again, back and forth they go. And yes. another big strike exchange. Yeah, not for nothing. Oh, kick strike to the knee. These guys actually seem even match. This match has been pretty much good. Oh my God! Holy crap! Raymond's on Dream Street. Whoa, he caught him right on the button. He caught him in a, it looks like a belly belly overhead. No. He grabbed He's that arm to, one more time. Going for the arm. He can get it. Bobby, scooping him up. Wait, what the hell are they doing? On the apron. Catches him in the gut. Wayward is hunched over. Burger, sunset Thanks, flip. Sunset. Whoa, Bobby. No, the referee don't see his home around. What? 